Hey guys. So I have a roommate by the name of Sydney Lee and she is a really great fellow Atlanta artist and she is obsessed with pineapples. Pineapples. Pineapple. Pineapples. Artsy pineapple. And pineapples. And also giraffes. But that's not relevant. And while I love pineapples, my favorite fruit are kiwis. So I thought we would even the score a little bit and add some kiwi decor to this apartment. So for this week, we are going to make minimalist collage style cross sections of kiwi. You know, nothing too oddly specific. Okay, getting started. You're gonna want some objects to trace round circles on um, because no one can draw a perfectly round circle. You just can't. Um, and I specifically liked the way that these fit together. So uh, rolls of tape are great because they have just enough like meat that it creates a nice contrast between the two different layers. We'll get into it in a second. Okay, so we're going to take our lightest color first right here, and we are going to use the inside of our roll of tape or whatever round object you have, and we are going to trace it and then cut it. If you have an X-Acto knife, you can cut it if you put a piece of poster board underneath it, but if you just have a nice pair of scissors, that's also fine. For the sake of paper conservation, don't trace right in the middle of your paper, because then what do you do with the rest of it? So just put it towards the edge so that you can use the rest of the paper for something else some other time. For another craft. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret to cutting out traced lines to a phenomenal result, if I may say so. Um, it's uh, good cutting, just like uh, life, is all about setting boundaries and sticking with them. So decide whether or not you are cutting just inside, exactly on, or just outside your pen mark. And I know it seems like we're being so nitpicky, but it really does make a difference. I personally recommend just outside, because then you have a constant visual of the blade against the paper. Also, take your time. Like, I think a lot of people do sort of shoddy uh, tracing jobs because they it's easy, so they go in a rush. Good thing this is a camera and there's not children around or something for me to poke in the eye. Um, but it's all that Italian family that I have. We talk with our hands. Um, but take your time. There's plenty of it. Perfect circle. Next, we're gonna take our second shade of green. Or I suppose you might be using other colors if you're doing other fruit. I mean, you'd be wrong because kiwi are the best fruit, but you're allowed to be wrong. Okay, and for our last circle, we take our darkest shade of green and our biggest circle. Okay, now that we have our three green circles, we're gonna take our lightest circle and we're gonna trace another circle in the middle of it. Okay, so this circle is really just to give us a benchmark for the next step. You wanna take a straight edge and we're going to make two overlapping triangles. So we'll essentially make like a six pointed star. Does me drawing with my fingers make it clearer? So we have our first triangle and our second. Remembering to follow our very strict boundaries, we are going to trace along our outside star shape. For my birthday this year, Kate Lightburn, a local stage manager and actor in town, uh, dropped off a little box of kiwi for my birthday because they're my favorite. You don't have to drop me a box of kiwi though.
Okay, once you have this done on your lightest and smallest circle, we're going to grab that darkest green that we had before, and we're gonna trace one of these onto that color as well. Okay, after you cut out one of these, cut out another one. Okay, so once you have all your pieces, we have our big circle and then our smaller circle, and then we'll have two of our dark green stars and our lightest star in the middle. And while those are sitting there, you're gonna take a little strip of black construction paper or cardstock, and you're gonna cut little tiny triangles out of them. So cut diagonal on that first one, and then vertical, and diagonal, and vertical, and diagonal. How CD you want your kiwi is up to you. Interesting fact, because kiwi have edible seeds on the inside, they're technically a berry, and a strawberry is not. Okay, so you're gonna take these little pieces of triangle seeds that you cut out, and you're going to sprinkle them over your kiwi. Um, if I may suggest, uh, keep them as close to the dark green stars in the center without touching the light green star in the very center. That's just where the seeds grow on a kiwi. You know, it's important to have hobbies and have things that you're proud of. Some people are knowledgeable about cars or sports teams, and I know a lot about kiwis. And voila. Minimalist designs like these often look good as sets, so maybe I'll surprise my roommate with a pineapple cross-section too. I'll let you guys know how it comes out. Thanks, guys.